Jeff. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Good Eve. Good tapos na kami, Jeff. Gabi na po kami na natapos dahil Ha-ha. nahirap pa sila magkabi sa akin. Oh, hindi naman ka. Jeff, we did our best. Sana, sana talaga magustuhan niyo. Hope lang, hope, hope. Alex, ask Diana and Mrs. Pahard over for dinner. You better hurry up and wash it again. What? I'm actually the only one there. Can help it, darling. Mr. Pahard's in Washington. All Diana's suitors are in the trenches. There must be some old gear here. Left somewhere. Then by for Diana. Oh, there are a few leftovers floating around, but Diana doesn't like them. If she can't get the best meal company, she prefers Pili. Diana's a bitch. She should have married one of the boys before they all went over. Poor Aubrey Lawrence was mad to his wadley in the other room. Hurry up, there's your energy. Alright, if I had to die between women, I'd better look my best. Yes, my dear, come off the walk. There are the evening papers. We gain three months again. Okay. My dear! Your mate told me to come right in. Oh, Mrs. Packard! They're so glad you could come on such a short notice. I jumped at the invitation. So lonesome with John away. How lucky you are to have your husband at home. <laughs> Thanks to his business, the government prefers him here. Take up your things. I'm a little early, but I took advantage of the chance to ride this way in Mrs. Morgan's car. Do you like Mrs. Morgan? Why, yes, don't you? I don't think you ought to like her. Why not? She has a long, bad tongue. Talks about it, does she? You ought to hear her, but then you ought not to hear her. About me? Now there, my dear. I have come for a chatty little dinner party and I'm not going to gossip. Still, if she said anything against me, I ought to know. That's just it. That's what I thought. And when she said, Oh no, why should I tell you? Why you shouldn't tell me? Yes, why shouldn't I? After all, I am one of your best friends and you ought to know. Certainly, I ought to know. But you may never forgive me. Not forgive you for protecting me? That's true. You must protect yourself. It's my duty. Um, what is it? You look, you look quite scared. If she tells me a thing like that, of course, she will tell everyone else. By this time, no doubt, it's all over time. How did you? What have I done? Is it what you've done? It's about Diana Chesper. She's coming tonight. Is she? Your invitation? Why, yes. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. Well... But in what way can gossip couple my name with Diana's? She's one of my best friends. Oh, is she? I'm quite sure she is. Maybe she is. Still, they wonder why Diana didn't marry one of the boys before they went off the war. Why should she have? Yes, why should she have really? Still, anyone as attractive as Diana. She had plenty of chances, didn't she? Oh, yes. That's what they are saying. All nice men too, and one or two real catches. Don't you think it's strange that Anna didn't marry one of them? I do think it's strange. There. Of course you do. I said it. But why do you think she did it? I don't know. What does she say? I think she... Exactly. It's just what everyone is saying. And everybody feels so sorry for you. Sorry for me? My dear, you get all the sympathy. Just what do they say? That she and... Oh no, my dear, of course I don't believe it, but... But in exact words, what do they say? Hasn't he ever admired her in your presence? Yes. What does he say? Oh, that she's a peach and popular and all the men like her. And many of them want to marry her. There you are. That's just it. That's what they say. And Mrs. Morgan told me that Diana refused the other men because... Well, she said because... Oh, Diana, it is with me, believe me. Hello, Mrs. Pavard. Hello, I hate all the... I'm early because I came straight up from town after dancing at the club. I've been work all day. How's everybody? Nursing at the hospital all afternoon. Isn't any the trump? Doing home nursing and releasing someone else to get the glory over there. I'd have gone over there. Why myself. didn't you? Against the law. 
I have relatives in trenches. Oh, how I love the aromas of the Any, get that letter from your body, won't you? And read it to Mrs. Pocket. He gives such a useful description. Yes, it's most interesting. Excuse me a moment, it's in my desk. 